All right, good morning, everybody. How many of you all know that one kid who's never in class, always skipping, and just doesn't look like he's gonna have a great future? Well, what if I told you that that kid was me and that uh, well, I used to have 30 plus absences in every single class. I'd never be in school, I'll always be skipping. I just wasn't motivated to come to class or to go to school or anything. But then something happened in my life that made me go from having 30 plus absences in every class to only having one to two absences. And not only that, I kept all my grades up, all A's and B's. And another fact, that I went from weighing over 220 pounds, having no confidence in myself, aiding my body, to now weighing 190 pounds, loving myself, feeling great, and I have tons of confidence. Uh, many other kids just like their, that were that just like me, they can also make that change that I did. And I made this change, thank you, to the guiding hand of the military recruiter. Hi, my name is Jerry Hernandez, and I'm here to talk to you today about military recruiting. Another side note, not only did military recruiters change my life and made me the man I am today, they also put me on top of everybody. That's how good I got. Because we have a system where there's poolies, and when you become a poolie, that you're waiting to get shipped to boot camp. And of all the poolies, I'm the leader. My thesis is more teenagers can change their lives if we implement military recruiting more in our schools. Recruiters, who are these people that I'm always talking about? For my project, I focus more on the Marine Corps, so I'm gonna talk about Marine Corps recruiters. Uh, for to be a recruiter in the Marine Corps, to start off, you have to be a sergeant, at least that rank. And to be a sergeant rank, you have to have at least four years in the military. So these are people who have experience and they know what they're talking about, and they could be a good role model for somebody that was in my situation. When you see this picture, this is what comes to mind when people think about war today. They have all these negative stereotypes. For example, hey, if I join the military today, they're gonna send me to war, not with our president. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna have PTSD, I'm gonna be missing a limb. All these negative stereotypes from the war. But the thing is, people are not, uh, these are all negative stereotypes that were from back then, for example, when we were in the Vietnam War. That, back then, was a realistic threat that could really happen, but today, all the wars are mostly cyber, and there's not really hand-to-hand -hand combat as much as we used to see. People don't talk about the leadership skills that the military has to offer. That's very useful in today's workplace. For example, Mr. Hayner, great teacher. I think if you, you should be the teacher, uh, the leader of all the English teachers. You should follow by your example. Trade skills. Uh, something that they told me there in the Marine Corps was that you can you can learn how to be a welder, and for a welder in today's society they make like from anywhere from 50 to 185 grand a year, and for somebody that was in my situation that I was going to get stuck working at McDonald's taking somebody's order to going from that to making uh, six figures a year that's a great improvement. <coughs> Discipline and patriotism. For me, discipline, that was a big fact that helped me change my life around. They really motivated me to keep myself disciplined, come to school, work out, do everything that I needed to do, do my job and get it done. And also it helps build patriotism. We've got a great country and not, not a lot of students act like it. We should be proud of who we are and what country that we're in. Educational opportunities. Everybody knows that the military offers to pay for your college. And not only that, you can become an officer in the military and you can, be, you can get paid even more and go on and keep on uh, going with your military career. My service. For my service, I decided to job shadow military recruiters from the Marine Corps and we got to spend time with police. This is a group picture of us. This is me and two of the recruiters. Uh, some of y'all may have seen them today at the Career Fair Center. This is Staff Sergeant Wheeler and that's Sergeant McDonald from the Marine Corps. Uh, and this is the place where our, the base is at, basically here in Charlotte. It's the Armed Forces Career Center. There's also a Ar U.S. Army office and also an Air Force recruiting station right next to it. Uh, my call to action. For my call to action, I believe that we should talk to that one kid who you see that's having trouble and let him know, hey, there's more opportunities out there. You can still change your life 
it's never too late. I thought it was, but here I am today. Thank you, and what questions do you have? Fred? All right. Um, you said you were joining the Marines. Is that something you want to do your whole life for? Uh, my plan is to do four years of service, and my, and my job is uh, I'm planning on being air traffic control, and they get paid a lot of money. So I'm going to have four years of experience, and when I come back here, I'm going to get that job. In those four years, I'm going to have all that money saved up. I'm going to have my job. I'm going to be set for life. Ben? Where do you find the military recruiters? Uh, usually at career fairs like we just had right now. And if not, uh, they'll reach. Sometimes they'll re reach out to you. You'll get something in the mail. It's not really. It's kind of hard because uh, you have to put in your part too. And now, if kids that were just like me, they don't feel like doing that stuff. They're like, "Oh, that's doing extra." Uh, they want it handed it to them. Yeah. Jerry, what advice do you have for students just starting the senior portion of the senior exit project? Do something that you're passionate about. Because if you do something that you're, you don't like at all, you're going to get bored later on and you're not going to want to do it. You're just going to, you're not going to put actual effort into it. Awesome. Give it up, Jay.